Hello Cancer and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. Uh, for some reason I've got the image of you, I don't know if you've seen the movie Frozen, of you being Elsa <laughs> singing Let It Go. Uh, so there's a couple of things to this. This is her, about her stepping into her power and stepping into being the ice queen. You know, this is a, a power that she was told was bad, but now she's embracing it and going, yes, I am powerful. So that's a thing that's coming in. I also get a sense of singing in general or just expression of your soul. So for some of you it is singing, some of you will be like, no, I don't sing. But it's just this soulful expression of who you are that's coming out and embracing that power, that inner power. So that's it, let it go. You might want to go listen to that song. That might have some sort of resonance for you. So, uh, yeah, from the soundtracks Frozen, not really. <laughs> anyway, that's just the song that came in. So let's see what is coming in. We are moving out of your season, Cancer, into Leo season so hopefully you're all super turbocharged there's still some nice energies around venus is in cancer which is a really beautiful energy to be in so there's still some beautiful cancerian energy my venus is actually in cancer i should let you know so i, I think it's a very uh you know lovely compassionate energy <laughs> but let's see what's coming through for you okay so message for cancer what is coming in for Cancer? Message for Cancer this week. What is going to be the right message? It's not coming out, Cancer. Let's just give it one more turn to shuffle and then we shall... Ah, okay. All right. <laughs> this picture is very funny. It reminds me a little bit of, uh, you know, the Elsa energy. And it's not gender specific. It's just about, you know, she's there singing. Going, I am beautiful and everybody loves me. I radiate acceptance. I'm deeply loved by others. Love surrounds me and protects me. And it's kind of interesting because stepping into Leo season and we've all got the 12 zodiac signs within, within, it, with it, within us, if I can speak, but, you know, when you step into the other season, you start um, encompassing and working with that energy of the season and the energy of Leo is about your inner radiance, about your inner authenticity. And this is what I think is shining from you. And it's actually really great that you've just had your season because you've kind of solar charged and then whatever it was that got activated as a soul expression in your season is getting an extra boost because the sun rules Leo and it's at home there. So it's like, boom, in you go. It says, all my relationships are harmonious. When we create harmony in our minds and hearts, we will find it in our lives. The inner creates the outer always. Beautiful. Now, I actually just want to put this lovely, <laughs> this lovely energy of freedom and singing and all that sort of stuff at the top because I like that. So let's see. Let's pull a card for the main situation for your cancer. What is coming in? So I feel it's really lovely. Honour yourself, honour your soul, honour who you are and you're all different, you're all beautiful and you've all got your own forms of expression. Some of you are like, you know, the big. Uh, Leo can be showy, you know, it can be the look at me, I'm here to shine. In its true form, it's just pure radiance. But, it, you know, some of you could be quieter. It may be a sense of um, your shining is doing something really lovely and quiet at home. Uh, so... We've got the five of crystals, persistence and new possibilities. I love this little ladybird because it's like climbing up the tree going, I can do it, holding on. There's new things coming in. So the universe is saying, hold on, keep going. It, it's uh, You're in the right direction, even though it may be a bit of a steep climb at this moment in time. You know, you're off on this adventure. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, keep at it with the five of crystals and the five of crystals is the equivalent of the five of pentacles so that sometimes is where there's been things that have been worried or you felt like something's been lacking it can be worry about money it can be thinking about moving your jobs or shifting your jobs or the way that your money's working for you let's see what is shifting we've got cup 10 pluto pisces and pentacle six mercury taurus okay so the pentacle six is what shifting is the balance of what's happening on the material realm and how that is making you happy. So things potentially need to come back into balance. How much are you investing into your happiness, your own happiness? So these are the things that are coming in around that are shifting this week that you're able to shift, which is really great. And I like how it's gone from the five of pentacles to the six. So 
you are moving forward. <laughs> it may feel like just one step, but the universe is saying you are, and it might just making that one step might be enough to make you happy as well. So Pluto is here coming in with the Pluto Pisces energy of the cup 10, wanting to transform something that has been blurred about your happiness or has been unclear. So that's something that's come through. Sometimes when the Pentacle 6 comes in, it's things that, like I said, out of balance on the material realm. So this can be money, it can be health, it can be the give and take in your relationships, it can be, you know, investing in time. So let's see, we've got the Justice card. So we've got legalities coming up, contracts coming in. Again, the Justice holds the, the scales of fairness. Uh, so it's kind of taking a bit of a, uh, yeah, this can be legalities coming in for some of you, like legal decisions that come through that can, if they're pending, but it's very impartial, it's objective, it's just looking at what's been fair and what hasn't been fair. The Hierophant, whoa, lots of major arcanas coming in. So in relationship to uh, commitments with the Hierophant, it's the card of marriage, it's the card of commitments to anything, like it's a long-term commitment, so a big thing in your life that you're wanting to commit to. This is also those two cards together are soul contracts that are coming in. Okay, the Seven of Cups, there are options that you're looking at. It doesn't look clear as yet. You're still uh, finding out the right way. The path is still becoming clear for you. Bull, but it does come clear. The Eight of Wands, okay, there's a new focus. So options are appearing and it's about making the right choice that is about rebalancing and making something really fair. And the Eight of Wands is, yeah, focus, boom, shift and change, laser focus. So, and we also have the Six of Cups. So, especially around an issue that's been a past issue. The, the Six of Cups represents the past or a trip down memory lane of sorts. So there is a sense, it can also represent children. So if there's some sort of like uh, legal battle around children or arrangement around like how many, the fairness around children or time with children or money, anything to do with children, that's potentially something that is coming up as well. It can be children's content, the Six of Cups, if you're working with that, but it can just also be the past. And we've got the Three of Swords. Okay, so it's something that uh, has potentially been had the capacity to wound you. The Three of Swords is when the wound has come up to be cleared. So it potentially related to the Six of Cups, something from the past or someone from the past coming up. So it's there's been something that has not been fair that is being addressed this week. And so that is, uh, I actually feel like this is, you know, the universe is saying, hold in there, stick in there. There's persist. There's new possibilities coming in. This is potentially something you've been struggling with here. And they're wanting to step into that sense of like Elsa from Frozen, you know, she was struggling with her powers, struggling with who she was, her true authenticity. And it's like, yes, yeah, step into it. Uh, you are beautiful. So, and so, I mean, I feel like it, there's two things happening. There's the soul expression thing that you're stepping into and empowering yourself, but there's, this is also something that is actually in your your world is being rebalanced. So, uh, yeah, I feel like this is a, a powerful thing that's coming through here. And the Three of Swords is, it is, it's the wound that comes up to the elements to be cleared. So let's see what is coming through. So this can be where you feel like you've given too much to a situation or you've taken on too much or you haven't been able to give as much as you'd like to. So I feel like there's just a lot that's coming in here around this, but there's a really uh, positive shift and change that comes through around it as well. So, or at least a, a new focus. <laughs> so let's see what's coming in. Let's pull the animal energy for you, Cancer, and see what is coming through animal energy for cancer and it's interesting because the cards are uh, you know I always read what happens in the reading the cards are it's hard to read like it's it's the sense of you're waiting 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 for something or you've been waiting for something or it's hard to get the message that you need or it's hard to get through to somebody or it's hard to uh, receive messages from somebody it's just a sense that it's not free-flowing as well, it's not fully like jumping out at you and you're getting everything easily. It's There's a little bit of a challenge to it at this moment in time. And I'm going to have to split the deck here, Cancer, because the card is just not jumping out at this moment in time. 
So let's see what else is coming through in terms of the animal energy. We've got the bee. Okay, the bee energy, busy bee. Bees are integral to the environment. And it's always that, you know, they always say that when you can tell that the equilibrium's out with the environment, you can see what's happening with the bees. Uh, and this is the kind of one of those things that we're saying there's been something that's been in your environment, in your equilibrium of your world that's been a little bit out here. And so be aware, <laughs> be aware uh, of um, what this bee represents to you. What is the thing that you can see that either it's gone away or it has moved and migrated? Uh, is it something that's kind of, you know, not what's been happening to what is the bee in your environment? So for example, maybe it's bees equal your happiness. What's happened to your happiness? Or maybe B equals money to you. So it, how has money been out of balance in your environment? Something within your environment, you're getting indicators and messages here with the B that something in the ecosystem of where you live or your world at this moment in time is out of balance. And so it's really saying find that B, find what that is. It's going to be different for all of you and that will give you the, the signs and the messages that's where you'll understand something hasn't been right. So listen to that message because it will help you show where you can bring something back into equilibrium. So that's kind of what I get with the B. And there's a lot going on inside your mind around this, a lot of things buzzing around quite literally uh, with the B. The other thing with the B is that the Bs are very, they've got their independent jobs to do, but they also work as part of a collective. So this in terms of the balance that's going on here, are you taking on too many responsibilities for somebody else? Are you, are you being too independent or is someone being dependent upon you? Like it's all about those boundaries that you could be looking at here as well because it's like, uh, yeah, so I feel like there's a lot to do with relationships, especially things from the past, but you could equally apply this to uh, your, you know, your work as well or your living situation. So just work out what that thing is that you, you'll go, okay, something's not right here. And that's when you can um, shift and change and have a new focus. So, hmm. That's it. And that's what they're saying. The balance is shifting and changing how much time and effort you put into your happiness and through this equilibrium and shift, being able to change, it brings more happiness in. So that's it, Cancer. That's the reading for the week. And I just want to leave you on the beautiful, empowering energy of let it go. So it might be quite literally there is something you need to let go of here um, in order to, uh, yeah, bring in the equilibrium to bring it back so the ecosystem is flourishing <laughs> in your life at this moment. This could be related to diet. It could be related to anything, but that's kind of what I'm getting for you. So, yeah, it's a, it's a positive message to come through and coming back to yourself as well, really coming back to who you are and empowering yourself. So that's it, Cancer. Thanks so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and look forward to seeing you next time.